Designed for both WinForms and ASP.NET, the Extra Charts suite offers you and your team a comprehensive set of 2D and 3D charts to address a broad range of business needs with ease. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a simple chart, modify some of its visual elements, and add a series of points to it. So let's get started. Start with a new WinForms application project. Find the chart control within the toolbox and drop it onto the form. The chart control wizard is invoked automatically. We don't need to use it in this lesson. Dock the control to fill the form. Select the chart control on the form and notice the smart tag at the top right corner. When clicked, it displays a list of common tasks. Select series. A series collection editor window is invoked. It's designed to facilitate data series customization. Click Add for a new series. Now we have to choose the series type from the list of all available types. Select Bar and press OK. Close the editor window. We see a bar diagram, although we haven't entered any data. The chart control provides a random set of data to give an idea of what the chart will look like after genuine data is provided. The user may then customize its appearance before the real data is provided. Note that this feature is only for design time, thus at runtime, the chart will be blank. Click Visual Elements of the Chart to show its properties in a property grid. The legend, the x-axis, the y-axis, the series data, series label, and finally the diagram itself. We can easily change visual representation of data series by changing its view property from bar to line or 3D pie. Let's add some data for the first series. Click it in the diagram and then use the points property to invoke a series editor. Fill in the points tab with some data. Switch to the Properties tab for customization. Notice the Argument Scale Type and Value Scale Type properties. Their settings determine the type and range of axes used to display the data and label formats. For example, by setting the Argument Scale Type to Numerical, we change the bar distribution along the axis and can format the Argument Axis labels as currency. To highlight specific areas of a diagram, we can use strip lines. Click the axis element and find the strip attribute at the property grid. Here you can modify the axis values. Using the constant lines property, you can display your own constant values. And we're done. Let's run the project to view the created chart at runtime. For further information, please refer to the Extra Charts documentation by clicking on the link below. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.